If you watched the first video, Manitoba Maple Clock, you would have seen me making this part of the clock, actually the main part of the clock. I'm going to try and make a case, well I guess you really couldn't call it a case, it'd be more of a back that would be mounted on the wall uh, that this uh, dial and basil will be mounted on. I had one large piece left of this maple tree branch and here you can see I'm just trying to trim it up a bit so it can be uh, more easily passed through the bandsaw and made into short boards. So here I'm just trying to square up this little short log so that it can be more easily uh, handled on the bandsaw on the table and the fence. And uh, I know I'm not supposed to be using a jointer for this, but it worked. Well, it's not perfectly square, but it's sure a lot better than it was. Having it squared up on two sides like that makes it a lot easier to keep straight on the table and up against the fence. Unless, of course, I was to have made a sled for the thing, which is maybe what I should have done. While I was sawing this log into uh, short little boards, I couldn't help but notice how wet it still was, and I was kind of disappointed. I had thought that being as it had sat pretty well all winter in a uh, uh, fairly dry workshop, that uh, more of the moisture would have come out of it than it did. So I'm going to have to let this uh, sit for a while. I can't do anything with it the way it is. Uh, the pieces are too big to put in the oven and dry out. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait two or three months. Maybe now that summer's here, I can set them outside in the sun and they'll dry out a bit. Hopefully they won't warp too bad. <laughs> 